guys, how are you doing today? Today I am going to be taking off my makeup and playing with some new products. I have the Foreo Luna Fofo and some Van Vanessa soap to try out. So let's take off my face. So I'm going to be testing out this Foreo. This is the Luna Fofo. Interesting name. On the back you have the on and off switch these little sensor things and a little guy holding the camera. And on the front you have these silicone scrubby pads. This device is made in China and I guess Foreo is based out of Sweden. It just takes two AAA batteries. Some people have been experiencing um, leaking water getting up into that bottom plate. So maybe don't submerge it or get it too wet because even though it claims to be fully waterproof, I don't know if it's fully waterproof based on other people's experiences thus far. And to take my makeup off today, I have this Vanessa San Mateo Natural Rejuvenating Collagen and Q10 Soap. Take a look at how beautiful this bar is. The soap claims to be formulated with the powerful antioxidant CoQ10, which is supposed to stimulate your skin with its regenerating properties, collagen to improve skin's elasticity, elasticity and improve the look and feel of your skin. Um, it claims that each bar is lightly scented, but no, they are strongly scented. Here you can actually see the ingredients and collagen and coenzyme Q10 are both at the very last there. So who knows how much is actually in here. There's no animal testing. The stuff retails for like 10 bucks on Amazon. The Foreo is kind of on the other end of the spectrum. This guy retails for about 90 US dollars. So very expensive, especially if the build quality is not top notch. Um, but we're gonna give it a go today. It's got this little gimmick where you can download an app on your smartphone and it'll like read uh, your skin and like kind of make a program based on what it thinks your skin is like. So let me open up the app. You don't need the app to actually use it, but it's a fun gimmick. So let me open it up here. So it's the Foreo For You app. So to connect it, you just hold the button for five seconds. Oh, and it found it. Going to, let's analyze my skin here. So it says, press and hold it to your cheek, the other cheek, forehead. It didn't say to use clean skin, and honestly, I, uh, I'm wearing makeup, so I don't know how effective this actually is. Nose. It doesn't actually really explain how to hold it up to your nose either. I have a moisture rating of two, so that's not bad. My skin age is 33, which actually is my age, so what the heck. My skin type, it claims to be normal, so not oily, not dry. And then you can tell it to save that and to actually start cleansing your face and it'll change the little vibration pattern based on whatever it reads because it divides your face up into a bunch of different zones and then you just kind of follow the zones with your Foreo. So full face of makeup, let's test if this soap will help remove all that makeup. Big bowl of water in front of me. So I'm gonna look a little crazy here. Hard to do this without glasses. So I'm gonna actually dunk the Foreo in the water. Press start, okay. So here we go. I've got the bottom cheek and it goes for a certain amount of seconds. Other side, there is your forehead. It went extra loud for my forehead. And then your nose and cheek area. Technically there's no upper lip, but I'm gonna squeeze it in there. It's a very subtle vibration. It's a lot like the Foreo Plane Play that I tested out a while ago. At the end, it just gives you three vibrations to notify you that you're done cleansing. And that's all the app really does. I don't know. The um, sensor, even though I got my age right, I think it really just guesses. I don't think it could know how good your skin actually is. All right, let me rinse my face off here. I should have brought a face cloth. The soap is good, but it definitely stings your eyes. Ugh. All right, and here is what my skin looks like after all of that. My skin's been doing really good lately. I actually been testing this out for the past week. I was really worried it would break me out, partly because of the scent, partly because it's a bar soap, and I never use bar soap on my face. 
but I've just been using it at night, usually is part of my makeup removing process, and it's been doing really well. It does leave your skin feeling kind of like squeaky clean, clean, which I'm not really used to, I'm not a huge fan of. Um, and then in the morning when I wake up, I usually just try to rinse it with water, or maybe just the tiniest bit of soap, nothing too crazy, just to, um, do is the least amount I can do with my skin. Why am I talking about skincare? The Foreo, as you can see, <laughs> I did a good job. Um, it's so gentle, like I don't know if it's a very good like physical exfoli exfoliation. It's pleasant to use, I like the color. I personally don't think I would ever buy one and if I was going to buy one, I would probably buy the full size. So save up and buy the full size, again, instead of getting the smaller play. Just gonna moisturize my skin real quick. All right, so I got a little screwdriver kit. The device is completely dry now. The screws come completely out. Okay, and here's what it looks like underneath. It's actually got Furio brand batteries. <laughs> it's also got Furio brand batteries in there, which is kind of interesting. Um, but my bottom seems to be completely fine. It seems to have been sealed well. Let's just pop those back in there. You can see the silicone lip does extend it down past the batteries and kind of holds them in place there. But yeah, I can see why it's not super well sealed. Be careful with your Ferreo. Maybe don't submerge it if possible. Just get your face wet. Um, overall, I'm going to give this guy a 3 out of 5. It's better than the Luna Play that I tried out a million years ago. One, like Once the battery died, you couldn't recharge it, which is just so bad for the environment so at least this one you can uh, put new batteries in it or put rechargeable batteries in it and uh, yeah just keep your eye on that bottom seal but so far I have been enjoying it and I love the little guy with the camera we're going to purchase a Foreo product I would say go for the big rechargeable ones the super nice ones like why go for the little guy and then the soap the only problem is it does sting your eyes quite a bit but it takes off like every trace of makeup. You just need a tiny bit and you get so much for your money. So as long as you're not sense sensitive, it seems like a pretty decent soap so far. And thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more beauty videos from me. I do new beauty videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. As usual, a huge shout out to my patrons who help bring these videos to you guys. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for watching. If you want to help me out, think about becoming a patron or just share this video with anybody else who might find it helpful. That really helps me out. And aside from that, of course, you guys know I will see you in my next beauty video. Ciao. Good night.